skateboarding has done so much for me in terms of sort of attitude and outlook on life. So I thought it'd be a really beneficial thing, especially considering the conflict at the moment in Palestine, to give these kids a similar sort of positive outlook through skateboarding. skateboarder volunteers it was Luke, Martin, Harry and then myself, Sam. So Skate Park was a small charity that was set up to try and nurture the obsession with skateboarding that some of the kids out there had and to get them some of the equipment and basically we went out to Palestine to teach kids to skate with Skate Park. Me and Harry came kind of late in terms of the progression of the whole project. I heard about it fairly last minute, so we only spent three weeks there. So we were basically in the teaching stage after all the building was done. At the start, it was a bit of a big ramshackle. The kids were just going at once. The first few sessions of the kids were crazy. Um, in a good way, they were was so hyped for skating, it was awesome, but it was kind of hard to deal with. The kids were quite short tempered and uh, didn't have a lot of sort of basic manners like sharing and caring for one another. Because it's yeah, such a um, visual based interaction, nothing verbal about it, so you have to show them tricks and manoeuvres completely through a sort of visceral sense, so you could use your hands to show them, you can't describe it to them, you have to literally use your body and then perhaps perform a couple in front of them so they can understand the motions. It actually was a success, yeah, kids learn some basic manoeuvres before leaving and Hopefully that's enough to sort of get the ball rolling. He's hanging in there and he sings a lot of stupid songs. <laughs> and they get super hyped. <laughs> and then he just beat off the hand and it's cool. Yabba, 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 yeah. I'm no Halloween, I'm not a Yabba, yabba. Oh, he just normally sing uh, Palestinian songs and they get really hyped on it. Uh, and then just start singing some the songs from that we know. And then uh, they get really hyped on it. Eventually some kids like uh, Muhammad, especially he shreds, and Ahmed, they got the hang of timing each other on the ramp, so 10 minutes, pumping up and down, dropping in, whatever you want to do, and then they swapped. Uh, there was a lot of crocodile tears <laughs> between goes, um, but they definitely progressed in terms of uh, manners to each other and they learnt the culture of skating and waiting your go and backing each other up rather than being in competition, sort of being stoked on each other. It was good to see kids being stoked that other kids were doing stuff. That was one of the rightest things ever. Even Maybe even better than seeing the kids learn to drop in. Seeing the other kids happy that the other kid dropped in was, yeah, was awesome. Charlie Davis, um, the guy who started Skate Pile, he spent most of his time just sort of just just dealing with anything that was awkward about getting supplies to build parks or information that was lost in translation. They didn't get the go-ahead to build the third skate park. In my eyes that shouldn't have a huge effect on the project, especially considering how 
successful skateboarding has taken off in Ramallah. The project has been completely successful due, due to like Charlie's efforts. And, but you can tell his heart's been in the project since day one. He's dedicated so much time towards this whole idea. I mean, because of Charlie, we were able to build two really, well, three legitimate objects at the youth centre before leaving. Whenever he had time, he would be uh, like the Ramallah Youth Club um, with us helping to build ramps and board racks and stuff like that. He's basically busy all the time. story of when Luke and Martin in Zabadde, when they met the guy who, they met a guy who killed his daughter because she was playing with Muslim children in the Christian neighborhood. Ah, uh, that was, yeah, hard to hear. Talking to Adam, he was the guy who got shot through the knee, um, when he was picking up a stone at a protest. He's an intelligent guy and he's really kind and seemed super happy to know that he just got shot on the leg for protesting was insane. Their behavior does improve. Like they they show you a bit more respect and there's definitely some kids improving. Like in Ramallah you have kids that are dropping in and they can stay that like they can pump up and down that ramp fine. In Zabadde you have kids that are always just sitting on their boards but then there's a few kids that are actually able to kick, turn around, go up the ramps. Before, like when we started here, they started to stand on a board. If you remember, that's only like skating two hours a day, maybe like five times a week, if even. So, like, they're progressing at a pretty fast rate. Skateboarding is a positive activity to pursue because it gives the children something to be focused on. Um, it allows you to meet different people from all over the world. I think something like Skate Pal, in areas like Ramallah and Zabadde, especially Zabadde, it's in the countryside and there's not so much good education up there. I mean, from the looks of it, whenever the club wasn't on and we saw the kids in the street, they'd just hang out and just sit in places and really do nothing. Or they would just throw rocks and tear gas canisters. So I think it's pretty vital for kids to have a creative outlet that lets them put positive energy into sort of the environment around them because they didn't really seem that much for them to do and they seemed quite they were angry it was good to see them having fun and making building blocks for being creative with within skateboarding and then what comes after what that leads on to i think the human mind is probably most happiest when it's creatively active and not performing some sort of traditional menial task it doesn't create a lot of sort of positive energy it's just something something to kind of keep them away from to distract them from their normal lives and their normal situations so you can go out and skate and you can kind of forget about the bad times you're having at home or anything like that so it's a good way to escape reality in a sense because skateboarding is such a novel activity now in palestine you could create a whole you know generation of uh, free thinking Outward thinking citizens, especially in Ramallah, it could yeah, it could it could shape a sort of generation's outlook. But that's that's big thinking. I don't know. But it's got the it's got the potential to definitely. Certain kids like Mohammed again. Every time I came to there, he would like shout my name and like high five, and it was just making connections with these kids who just loved skating. As mad as they were, the five o'clock um, skate lessons at Ramallah were by far the most enjoyable part of the whole trip. I mean, I, I definitely look forward to every every evening at that park and just like, seeing how far the kids had come on a daily basis was probably the most rewarding thing to see, I think. So, yeah, that was definitely the most enjoyable part, for sure. Just getting to know the kids and seeing them get 
for high levels on the board, like learning way quicker than anyone I've seen in England. He's I mean, done so much for us all individually, as fucking lame as it sounds. I would have stayed in a super small town and had no real ideals if I didn't start skating. So I owe a lot to it, and you can see the kids that sort of pick it up and have fun with it, and you can see it going somewhere. With them.